हरे कृष्णा इन भक्ति वी डोंट जस्ट मेक द ऑफरिंग वी आर आवर सेल्व द ऑफरिंग वेन वी प्रैक्टिस भक्ति योगा वी ऑफन इक्वेट इट विथ सम काइंड ऑफ रिलीजियस एक्टिविटी एंड रिलीजियस एक्टिविटी वी मे गो एंड मेक एन ऑफरिंग इन द टेम्पल और वी मे गिव सम डोनेशंस वी मे मेक सम फूड ऑफरिंग्स वी मे डोनेट टूवर्ड सम चैरिटेबल कॉज and in that in that situation what we see is we are making the offering and that is good krishna talks about this that whatever we do we should do it in the mood of offering to him in 9.27 yat karoshi dashnasi yat juhosi dadasi yat yat tapasya si kaunteya tat kurushva madarpanam is whatever you do whatever charity you give whatever uh, austerity you do whatever worship you do give, do it all in the mood of over offering to me and then krishna gives actually the previous verse one level higher he there actually the idea is we do the activity first and then we make the offering but in 9.26 he says that patram pushpam phalam toyam yo me bhaktya prayachhati tad aham bhakti upahritam ashnami prayatatmanah krishna says that even if you offer a leaf a water a leaf some water a flower a fruit to me i accept it and krishna stresses what he wants is bhakti bhakti upahritam when somebody offers this to me with devotion twice uses the word bhakti in this verse to stress that what he wants is not the specific object but the intent with which it is offered he wants the devotion more than the offering and that's why he satisfied even the simplest of offerings and later on in that same section later krishna says those who devote themselves to him what happens to them they become offered to him they enter into him krishna says in 9.29 ye bhajanti to mam bhaktya mai te te shu chapya ham that those who devote themselves to me they enter into me they live in me and i live in them so krishna wants us to offer ourselves to him so that we enter into his heart and he enters into our hearts and that he stress further at the end of this ninth chapter when he says man mana bhav mad bhakto madhya ji mam namaskuru mam evaishya satyam te mam evaishya yukt vaivam atmanam mat parayana krishna says that those who think of me those who worship me those who devote themselves to me in this those who offer their obeisances to me then what happens by that atma nam mat parayana ha their whole being becomes devoted to me their whole being is offered to me and thus they attain me so in bhakti we don't divorce our life thinking oh this is the religious part which i'm offering to krishna and this is my own thing we want to offer our souls to krishna offer our entire being to krishna and that's why sometimes even if you are not able to offer external things to krishna certain results don't work out the way we want and we are not able to offer it to krishna we don't have to become disheartened or resentful you to see those externals are the means to offer the internal and even if the external is not there still we can offer the internal and still we can grow in our bhakti because ultimately krishna doesn't want our offerings krishna wants us he wants us to love him and to live a life of eternal loving joy in relationship with him thank you re krishna